Whoa, did you guys see that? Whoa, we're here with Jared again today. Now we're up river from the fly from the last time Jared and I fished. This is the Mississippi River if you're wondering. So we're still in New Orleans, but we're, we're at, some of you probably recognize this. You see what's behind us here, the turns. So right here in front of us, we have a nice swirl, but we're actually on the lazy part of a bend. So since we're on the, the wider part, the outside part, if you will, this is probably the shallower part. Now, the deeper part is probably over here where my finger's bouncing around. That's the point. Usually that's where, on the tighter end of a bend, usually that's where the river digs out and makes it really deep. But we're seeing a lot of bait over here. This is a place where people commonly come to catch catfish. And that's what we're going to do today is catch catfish. We see skipjack, mullet. We've seen some uh, beaver action already. Let's get into it. This is what a turn is. It's rocks stacked up on top of each other. Now, that could be hippies. It could be someone putting this here to mark a spot. Usually, they're like trail markers. So, that's kind of why I came this way. I was like, huh, there's turns down there. Let's see if that's true, if it, this is the spot. So I've brought out two 12 foot rods. This is my Daiwa beef stick. My bait this afternoon is gonna be skipjack. And this is a, a six aught circle hook. lot deeper than I expected. Not bad. Here's my other 12 foot. This is an ugly stick. We're going to put a bigger bait on here. We're using a 8 aught circle hook here. We got a skipjack head. Here we go. So there's a pretty good back current here. The current is taking all our baits up river. That is down river right there. Pretty good swirl here. Really strong, I would say, because we're using three, I'm using three ounces of lead and it's just trucking them up, up river here. So that's pretty good. I'm out a little further than Jared. Hopefully we don't have a tangle. I doubt we will, but man, it's trucking my threes. I've never fished this spot before, in case you're curious. So this is my first time here. I'm curious to see what's gonna happen. One thing I've just noticed about this spot is, it seems that if your bait is closer to the bank here, the current, the back current is stronger. Now this bait with the big head on it is not as far out as the beef sticks bait, which is a smaller bait. This one's not trucking as fast, but the, the one with the skipjack head on it is trucking like a race car. It's about to go underneath my Daiwa line. I gotta get this right, so we're, we're gonna bring everything back in and reorientate it. We're gonna flip the rods. It's not a snag, I'm just riding up the mud and fighting the current. It's really strong here, even though, oh, We just got to tap, tap on the beef stick. Yeah, the river is extremely low still. It's right around four feet in New Orleans. That's uh, the flood stage. It's been getting a little timid bite on that last rod down there. Fiona? Yeah. Oh man, we've been sitting here watching these for an hour. Just getting discouraged. Getting discouraged, that's right. We were thinking about moving. Feels like a good cat. But of course, you know, this current is really, really, really strong. And I'm working them up over a drop off. Now this spot, a lot of you guys probably already know where I'm at and what I'm behind. I hear more about this spot when the river's up. People like to come here and limb line. This, is a, this feels like a nice fish, Jared. Well, this ain't got mud today. 
Right. This is on that smaller bait again. Fall is a good time to come out and look for big fish, just like in April here when it's spring, right before spring. I know, I know it's not spring everywhere in April. But usually in April is when the cats really start to feed up, get ready for the spawn. They do, oh, beaver action out there. Yes. That was my cat, right? I don't know, some cat just slapped his tail out there. We're gonna say it's mine. But he dove back down. When we get into fall, like we're here in October, these cats will start feeding up like crazy chasing the shad and other things getting ready for the colder months we do get some colder months here oh he's, he's right on these rocks looks like a nice nice blue cat yeah we were about to move because been here an hour and we just had some little timid shy bites and this current is super strong I was wondering if our baits were just moving too much, helicoptering out there, even though they're squared off pretty good. It looks like maybe a 12 to 15 pounder. Does that feel definitely over 10? Yeah, he's over 10. All right, we're gonna put him on the scale. Settle down, buddy. Man, it kept going over 14 and then back to 13, that doesn't make me happy. So it's really close to 14 pounds, a little over 13, 13.85. Oh, fat belly on this fish, man. Woo, yeah. Yeah, you're right. I'm way too tired to go home and cut fish right now. I've been working all day. I'm getting a bite here. It's giving me a slack line. Are you still around my bait, buddy, or did you take my bait to town here? Yeah, he's back. He's tapping at it. There's nothing serious yet. Come on, buddy, just take it. I don't know if this is going to happen right now. I'm actually in the middle of doing stuff. I started to get this bite while I was changing the battery, and I was planning on downsizing. The bit. Oh, maybe this is going to happen. He just hit me again. Yeah, there he is. Number two. Yeah, I've decided to put out two smaller baits instead of one small bait and one big bait because I think, I think the smaller baits are being more productive right now. But these fish aren't gonna let me. This one feels good too. They always feel massive when you're fighting them in really strong current like this spot here has. I wonder what kind of beaver action this one's gonna give us. That 13 pounder felt bigger till I got him up over this drop off. So let's see what this one feels like once I get him up in the depth. And I'm trying to get him up slow. I don't think there's anything like structure here or snags, even though you see all these rocks. I don't think those rocks go out to where we're currently fighting the fish at. But here in a little bit, we'll be up. We're, we're getting close to the rocks now. He's, he's actually swimming into the rocks. Try to hustle him up. Hoss him. Oh, I got him close to the surface now. I know you guys can't see much because we're facing the sun. Up, oh, we're real close to that beaver action. He's up on the surface. Oh, he's trying, he's trying to slap it. Looks like another nice blue cat. Oh.
he's around the size of the last one maybe a, a little bigger but he's he's somewhere close to that same size we've seen some absolute monsters roll out in front of us like cats that were probably about 30 to 40 pounders If I wanted uh, fish in the house, this would do it. Feels about real close to the last one. This one's only got one eye. About a pound heavier. It's 14.33. You guys see that pretty good this time? Yeah, you're right. Nice, clean blue cat with another fat belly. It's probably full of shad. Yeah, you're right. All right. There it goes. All right, so now I have both rods with smaller baits and I'm starting to really be happy that I stayed. I'm really happy that I came down to where these turns are. If we would have went the other way, it's the bigger part of the bend. I think we would have been fishing in shallower water. I don't know if the back current is as strong over there as it is here, but I'm pleased. I just would like to catch a big old hoss now. But I'm, I'm pleased with what I caught. It's better than getting skunked out here. Man, this Daiwa beef stick is just getting all the fish. This is his third fish. Hey, why don't you do the honors? You haven't had a fish all day. You bring it in and I'll land it. I'll watch these other rods. What's it feel like? It's got head shakes to him. Like you said, you're coming up off that drop off. Yeah, he's climbing that mud and that current too. It makes them feel bigger than they are. It's got to work him up. Hey, he might have a little. He's not up yet. Um, uh, Eater size. What's the matter? Too small to do the beaver thing? Maybe. Well, he's like on a wild roller coaster ride coming up. Let me go get him. Not bad. Oh, look at that. He's got a. Can you guys see that? We're losing the light out here. A little leech on him, a little parasite. It's a good eater size. Nice fat belly again. That is a really clean blue cat, actually. Yeah, Impressive how clean they are. They don't have any weird marks on them up here. Oh, oh, oh. Can you guys see this? This looks like uh, an amore. Maybe, that, maybe not. It's, it's, got, it's kind of rounded right here, but not fully rounded. There's something healed right there. Otherwise, He's all right looking, except for a couple of parasites on him. Okay, Fairly clean. Come on, guy. Come on. There you go. I got to get up these rocks. We're getting another bite. Getting them baits really, really far out there, even though they're chucking a lot, seems to be the deal. And keeping them small. Otherwise, we sat for an hour watching a big bait do nothing about to bait up this other rod that he just caught a fish on and something started shaking and knocking on the door oh this one feels good right at the moment it does but look he's got some serious head shakes people we're starting to lose the light starting to lose my light for sure i'm ready to go cook some dinner crawl into a a bed oh but we're gonna get this one in first this feels decent so far it feels better than those last eater fish that we got nice just cranking them up oh look at that nice head shake right there
Oh, they've all been out here. Yeah, right there. Oh, yes, nice head shake. Come on. Ooh, look, he's not ready yet. He's pulling. Whoa, he's still head shaking. He's not giving up. Watch him be 12 pounds. <laughs> More head shake. Oh, beaver action, man. Right at the sunset. The sun is done, gone. It is past that horizon. This is a good time to be out here too. This is starting to turn on. He's trying to be reaction up onto them rocks. He's not absolutely huge, but he's maybe about 14, 15 pounds. We'll see when we get him up here. Oh man, his belly is fat. Well, what do you know? He's a little heavier than I thought. A little over 15 pounds. That's about right. 14, 15. That's just a little, a little better than 14. 15.43. Nice. Try to get him in the best light. Here we go. This might be the it's a decent, decent eater sized cats today. Really nice cat. I'm gonna let this one go just like the others. Oh. Come on, buddy, roll. Thought you were in a hurry to get out of here and you bellied up on me. Come on, kick in there. There he goes. Come on, buddy, you can do it. Yes, you made it. All right, guys, it is about to be dark. I'm gonna call it right here. We still have his two lines out. Mine are both in. Pretty interesting spot. Really, really strong back current. I've been seeing, both of us, Jared and myself, have seen some monsters roll here, like cats that were look like about 40 pounds. But all the cats that I've caught today were just all eater sizes, but all had fat bellies. I would come back here again. All right, like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time.